and a perfect opportunity. I always loved the Opera House anyway, so I said that's an excellent excuse to go and see. But the main purpose, of course, is for, for me to share what I know about technological competency as care and nursing. And that's a, a uh, legacy that I thought I would live with um, uh, Filipinos and uh, especially the nurses. Uh, because it is, it is, it is there, and um, probably uh, it is the, the formalized, formalized conceptualization of what we always are known for. Right? Filipino nurses are known for for competencies in nursing. So we ask the question: What kind of nursing are we doing when we do uh, when we are considered excellent nurses? Right. So, um, technological competency, uh, without much ado, uh, if you don't mind, um, I know um, I'm quite late. Uh, I was supposed to arrive two days ago, but nonetheless, I'm here, right? and we'll, we'll make the best out of what we have. So, um, I have some notes, um, but I'll probably simply go through uh, my slides. I have videotapes, I have uh, video clips, not tapes. Right? And, um, and to emphasize what I'm, uh, what are the concepts, the, the theoretical perspectives, and the frameworks of my theory. Right? Um, and also, Jerome asked me to bring some books, so but it's in the suitcase. So just in case later on today, if anyone wants to have a copy, and then I'll sign it, and that's for you. Right? So I don't know how much it's going to charge. I just. <laughs> Anyway, so um, technological competency is getting in nursing. Always, people ask, how did that? How did I get to uh, think about technological competency as caring in nursing? Uh, when I was when I came to Florida Atlantic University from New York, um, the the dean of the College of Nursing actually asked me, "So, what is your philosophy of nursing?" I said, "What in the world is philosophy of nursing? I have a PhD in nursing, right?" Yeah, and I said, um, well, you know, um, I remembered a paper that I made in, 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 in college, in, in my PhD program, and it was about rational care based on Orem's self-care um, uh, theory. You know, Orem has the general theory, but uh, one of the three theories that, he had, that she has is uh, the self-care deficit theory. So anyway, so based on that, so I started talking, and she was driving, and I said, oh, and she was, she was, of impressed of what I was talking about. So I started to do that. So I, I came to, to Florida Atlantic University. And one, when I was uh, doing my first year, uh, one of the students actually said, you know, Dr. Luxin, we have, my sister who is a nurse in ICU asked, asked me, uh, actually complained. He said, we, we, um, we don't have time for patients anymore. We focus on technologies, all the technologies. We could forget that at the end of these tubes and these lines is a human being. And I said, wait a minute, you know, that's that's a, an excellent point to really consider. It's it's a the impetus for the theory was was that kind of statement. Simply because we focus on the competency, on the expertise, but yet this expertise is nothing because because uh, until it is used to know the person more fully as a person. So that humanness is really important. So that's where my caring uh, appreciation and understanding came into view as part of technological competency as caring. Actually, it should be as expression of caring in nursing because uh, one of the things that was asked was, is can caring be measured? And I would say, I don't think caring can be measured, but the expression of caring